Not all exercise programs are suitable for everyone. Please consult your physician before beginning this or any other exercise program. You should always warm up for a few minutes before beginning any workout and you should never exercise beyond the level at which you feel comfortable. If at any time you feel you are exercising beyond your current fitness abilities or you feel discomfort, you should discontinue exercise immediately. Aquatic exercise has been proven to be one of the most body-friendly, fat-burning, and efficient ways to get in shape. Whether your goal is to improve your flexibility, balance, coordination, or level of fitness, this program is for you. Before we get started, let's go over a few important things. We recommend that you lower the temperature of your spa to 92 degrees if you are performing the basic exercises in this video. If you plan on performing more vigorous exercises, we recommend that you reduce your spa temperature to between 82 and 87 degrees. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids before, during, and after exercising to prevent problems such as muscle cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. While you are exercising in your H2X, you will perspire without even realizing it. Make sure you keep a water bottle handy. Make sure you wear water shoes to protect yourself from slipping. Shoes will also add increased support and protection for your feet. Let's get started. To begin, warm up by walking forward, backwards and sideways for five minutes. It's important to warm up and get the blood flowing to your muscles. This will help prevent injury and soreness. Now that our muscles are warm, we can start stretching. Begin by allowing the body part you are stretching to remain relaxed. Try to maintain proper posture while stretching so that you don't put unnecessary strain on your joints. The feeling of tension should subside as you hold each position. If not, ease off and find a tension that is comfortable. For best results, you'll want to perform two to three repetitions of each stretch. Upper trapezius stretch. Reach over your head with your right arm. Gently grasp the left side of your head and pull toward your right shoulder. You should feel the stretch in your upper shoulder area. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds, then switch sides. Chest bicep stretch. Lace your fingers behind your back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Slowly attempt to raise and straighten your arms as far as you can while still maintaining proper posture. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds. Hamstring stretch. Place your right foot on the bench seat with your legs straight and toes pointed up. Keep your back straight and slowly lean forward leading with your chin. Hold for 30 seconds making sure you do not bounce. Okay, now it's time to switch legs again. Piriformis stretch. Cross your right leg over your left thigh. Gently pull your right leg across your body towards your opposite shoulder. You should feel this stretch in your buttocks area. Hold for 30 seconds. Repeat this stretch with your left leg. Calf stretch. Place your left foot 18 to 24 inches in front of your right foot. Bend left leg slightly and keep the right leg straight with heel on the floor. Lean forward until a stretch is felt in the calf. Hold this position, being careful to keep your heel on the floor. After 30 seconds, switch legs. Quadriceps thigh stretch. Stand with your back straight and your chin parallel to the floor. Gently pull your right heel towards your buttocks until you can feel a stretch in the front of your thigh. If you struggle with balance, place one of your hands on the wall of the spa. Repeat this stretch with your left leg. Single knee to chest stretch. Now it's time to have a seat on the spa bench. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Now gently pull your right knee towards your chest. Hold this position for 30 seconds and then repeat with your left leg. You did it! Now it's time to move on to some strength training exercises. But before we get started, here are a few tips to keep in mind. It's important that you keep your abdominal muscles stabilized in the water to prevent injury. Pretend you are putting on a pair of tight pants and tuck in your tummy. Continue breathing and simultaneously tighten your buttocks muscles. Make sure to maintain good posture. Keep your chest out and shoulders back. Maintain good alignment from your ears to your shoulders to your hips, knees, and ankles. When performing these strength training exercises, we recommend that you do two or three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. 
Also, in order to improve your fitness level and keep yourself from becoming bored, you need to perform each of these exercises at varying speeds. Performing 10 repetitions at a slow pace, 10 at a fast pace, and then 10 at a medium pace will fool your muscular system so that your muscles will not adapt as quickly. Also, if you need an additional challenge, you can perform your exercises using the variable speed current that your H2X provides. In addition to varying the speed of the exercises, you can also increase the difficulty of each exercise by using various pieces of additional equipment. We'll let you know with each exercise which pieces of additional equipment will add to the challenge. We're going to start the strength training portion of this video with some arm exercises. You will want to remain seated on the bench during these exercises. Horizontal Arm Fly While sitting on the bench, hold your arms out to your side at chest level. Keep your arms straight and move them toward each other and then return to starting position. You can also use flotation dumbbells, fins, or hydrotone bells to make this exercise more difficult. Shoulder Lateral Raises Start with your arms down at your sides. Keep your arms straight and lift them out to the side at chest level. Then pull your arms back down to your starting position. If you need additional resistance, you can use flotation dumbbells, fins, or hydrotone bells. Shoulder Flexion Extension We're going to start this exercise with your arms down at your sides again. This time, lift both arms forward to chest level, then pull them back down to the starting position. By varying the direction we move our arms, we are varying the muscles we are working. As with other arm exercises we've done, you can use flotation dumbbells, fins, or hydrotone bells. Breaststroke. Although this exercise mimics swimming, we are going to do this while sitting on the bench. Place your arms in front of you, elbows slightly bent, and thumbs down. Pull your arms out, back, and to the side just like you would if you were doing the breaststroke. Let's move on to our lower body. It's time to get up off that bench and get to work. Hip Horizontal Abduction, Adduction Knee Straight. Start by lifting your right leg out to the side. Now pull your right leg across the front of your left leg. Make sure you are standing tall while doing this. You can also place your hand on the side of the spa for additional balance. When you're finished with your right leg, switch to your left leg. If you need extra resistance, you can use fins. Hip flexion extension. During this exercise, make sure that the leg you are lifting is straight. Lift your right leg out in front of you, then pull it straight back behind you. Don't forget to keep your abdominals stabilized so that you don't put any strain on your back. Don't forget to switch legs. Squats. We're going to head back over to the bench, but we're not going to sit down. We're going to do some squats. Squats are a great exercise because they work so many muscle groups. Stand a little distance in front of the bench as if you were about to sit on the edge of it. Bend both knees, lowering your buttocks toward the bench, then return to your starting position. Make sure to keep equal pressure on the balls and heels of your feet, and try to keep your shins in a vertical position throughout the exercise. It often helps to keep your arms directly out in front of you for balance. Squats are a great exercise because they work so many muscle groups. Forward Step Up Let's head on over to the steps for the next two exercises. Stand facing the steps with your right leg up on the step. Step up bringing your left foot onto the step. Now lower your left foot back to the spa floor. When you're finished with your right leg, switch to your left leg. Lateral step up. We're going to use the step again for this exercise. This time, we are going to stand with a step on the left side of our body. Start off by stepping up on the step leading with your left leg. Once you are standing on the step, slowly step down leading with your right leg. Make sure we are keeping both sides of our body balanced by repeating this with your right leg. We're almost done. This next exercise works the core of our body. Strong abdominal muscles help prevent back injury and they improve our posture. You'll need a ball for this next exercise. Ball Crunch Sit on the bench holding the ball close to your chest. Contract your abdominal muscles and crunch forward. 
imagine that you are pulling your belly button in toward your spine. Return to your starting position. The hard part is over. You have just finished the beginner portion of this video, and now it's time to cool down. Take the next five minutes and walk forward, backwards, and sideways. Congratulations! You did it!